Welcome back, friends. Thank you for joining us on Studio 10. It's time for Monday Moms. Summer right around the corner. We're getting some warm weather, though, so we're going outside. Got to have that sunscreen. Yeah, this is such an important thing to think about because when we're out in the sun with our kids, they're having a good time. You don't necessarily think about it, but they can get sunburned really easily. Yeah, even when it's overcast. Even when it's overcast. And this is something we need to be constantly thinking about because when it's officially summertime, we hang out by the pool, we hang out by the beach, we do things outside. Lots of fun in the sun, but before we head out there, we do need to take a moment and protect ourselves and our children from sunburns. Experts say that too much sun can actually be a dangerous thing. A Skin Cancer Foundation report shows the number of skin cancer cases is going up year to year. In 2012, there were 3.7 million new cases of skin cancer. That is a very scary number, especially considering there are things that we can do to try to prevent skin cancer. The first thing being sunblock. Dr. Janine Downey is a pediatric dermatologist. She works with a lot of families. She says that sunblock needs to be a daily thing. So in SPF 30, Sarah, every day, rain or shine, January through December, and that is regardless of the child's ethnicity. That is very, very important. And then parents need to reapply it to themselves every two hours and to their children every two hours. But if your kids are in and out of the water, it needs to be reapplied as frequently as every 30 minutes because there's no such thing as a waterproof or a water-resistant sunblock. And here's a little motivation for us moms and dads. A bad sunburn as a child can predispose you and increase your chances for skin cancer as an adult. And by bad sunburn, we mean a blistering sunburn. But apparently that happens pretty often. Experts are telling us that when it comes to sunscreen, people don't actually use enough. The general rule is about two tablespoons of sunscreen to the exposed areas of the face and the neck, and then like a nickel-sized amount for the face alone. You also may want to check out the UV clothing that's out there. Dr. Downey says there are some really good options for sun protection in the form of UV blocking hats and shirts. Dr. Downey says we should also be good role models when it comes to protecting our skin because if our children see us putting on the sunblock every day, they're more likely to do the same thing. If you'd like some more information, you can check out our website. Just go to fox10tv.com and look for the Monday Moms page. Interestingly, we were just at the beach this week, and we did the sunblock stuff, and then we decided to try the UV shirts. Uh -huh. They worked really well. Really? Yeah, they worked really well. Huh. So that's something that actually makes it easier, too, because you don't have to sunblock every 30 minutes. Uh, you know, you can protect with a shirt, which... Works really well for the kids. That is good to know. So you've tried it. You've been there. Yes, we tried it this week, and we were at the beach, and it worked really well. And something else is interesting. Have you read the Consumer Reports? They just came out with the top sunscreens and sun sprays to block the harmful UVB and UVA rays. And three out of four top brands may not be what you think, because you may think that right. the more expensive the brand, the better it is. But that's actually not the case. They found that the best three out of four brands were from Walmart, Target, and Walgreens. Which is good to know. You don't necessarily have to spend a lot of money right. to get the good stuff. But the key also is if you're using the sunblock instead of like a UV protecting clothing, you need to reapply, yes. reapply, reapply. Because you can put that on there and then two hours later they're still going to be burned because you didn't reapply enough. You are right. Can't ever go wrong with sunscreen. Right. All right. Thank you, Sarah. Uh -huh. Up next, we're back in the kitchen finishing up the Havana.